she's already here y'all she already joined us ha 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 i'm gonna wait till she gonna push the uh add button down here I know I just now checked that candy from Halloween. It's doing too much. Hey, Kiara. We are ready when you're ready. All right, y'all. I'm about to invite her in live. Uh, touch my hand and see. A little bit. Hello. I can't hear you. How are you? Oh, I can hear you. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Sorry, excuse how I look. I'm it's okay. streets. I'm running. <laughs> it's okay. Before you got here, we were talking about Halloween candy. I'm just now going through my baby's Halloween candy. And somebody was like, girl, it's almost Thanksgiving time. <laughs> Uh-oh. I hope you don't get sick. One of my friends got sick off of the Halloween candy. We throw a majority of that candy away because I just okay. I can't get with the open candy. The little I just it's a bunch of candy I can't get with. <laughs> So, before we get started, a lot of people know Kiara Sheard as just gospel Kiara Sheard. Why we doing Kiara Sheard? I know Kiara Sheard is just everything Kiara Sheard. So, how about you just tell everybody who is Kiara Sheard? Sure. Um, I am Kiara Sheard. <laughs> That's a lot of Kiara Sheard. <laughs> um, I am Kiara Sheard, and um, I'm a vibrant young woman. I am a woman of faith. Um, I love to stay out of trouble because I know what it's like <laughs> to be in trouble. Um, so I stay working. I am a singer. Um, I sing the gospel. Um, I also sing other songs that, you know, are just inspiring other women, empowering young men. Um, I have a passion for people. I have a heart for people. Um, one of my friends have told me, you got to stop making everybody your project manager because I just <laughs> like for people to do well. I uh -huh. like my skills to do well. And I like to be a help. Um, and then I am currently, I'm starting school again, and I'm super excited That's about good. that. Um, I have a clothing line for Curvy Women, 1160, which is named after my mother's birthday. It's inspired by uh -huh. her as well. Um, what else do I do? I'm committed to my local church. I'm still a church girl. <laughs> but at the same you know they time, get big and like to go to new churches. Then you know they get big and go to new churches. Exactly. <laughs> I say, I'm right under my father's care, under his covering. My father's mm -hmm. Bishop Pedro Drew Sheard. So I am a PK. A lot of people say PKs are bad. And no, right. the same way. We all growing. <laughs> and we all got our issues, which I have my struggles and my issues. So I stay away from people who compliment my struggles and my issues. God bless my heart. Right. Um, uh, and what else? I'm working on music. And I guess the questions, we can dive all into that. But um, that's pretty much just the gist of who I am. Okay. So when I first got introduced to your entire family, besides the fact that my granny just know your moms and your aunties, Besides yeah. that, I think you guys had like a TV show, and that's when I just met everybody. And yes. I was like, "Is the show coming back? Are we gonna get another reality show from y'all?" Because I enjoyed it. You don't Thank get a lot you. of shows where I don't. I don't want to put the label a Christian reality show, but you don't yes. get shows like that, you know. And then when you do, it's kind of a mix of Real Housewives with a little bit of Christian in it. Right. And it's like, girl, what is this? Like. <laughs> I like the show because it's just real life basic stuff. It's not a show to put on when you gotta have a storyline. It's just a normal show. Would y'all would you ever consider doing another reality show with your family? Um, I would. And it's funny you ask that we have gotten a few offers and the reason we stopped the last one, I don't know if you remember, but my dad, he showed that he was not fond of the reality show. Um when right. he passed out, my dad was like, Cut them cameras off. You know, a lot of people do in the show because it gets real. But um, to answer your uh -huh. question, yes, I'm interested because, like you said, it's not a lot out there where there are people uh -huh. showing that it's possible to have a balance. Like you can be right. a faith-based person and still kind of just have a good time. And even with the productivity of our lives, we're, like a lot of people, the millennial area, I'm sorry, era, we're all into like entrepreneurship. So just finding a balance where you're not losing your mind and then J.J. Mm -hmm. having kids and him being able to show a balance as well um, and being a young man, an entrepreneur, a boss, you know, all of that. And then me too, me being a single woman and the dating uh -huh. thing and trying to keep myself, keep my legs closed and all of that good stuff. So <laughs> for sure, I think it's necessary. And I agree. I hope that not just us, but 
um, either even other people will do it. Like I love watching Erica and Warren Campbell. Um, right. They they show a balance. Um, I love the Ti show. I loved watching Ti and Tiny because you saw Ti like give like this traditional side of himself. Uh huh. Um, so for sure. And still, he's still a parent. A lot of people miss that because. I have yet to see an episode where he giving his kids just straight money, no matter how much he got. It's always a lesson in that. You always have to earn sure. it or you have to show daddy how to do this. Um, yeah. I have two pages. I have like a backup page and this page. And I had somebody ask me a question. Um, I know you went to the Jay-Z concert and you had to snap real quick and let people know. People think when you're a Christian that you just you just in this little box and this is what you do all day. There is no outside world. And how do you deal with people like that? Because I know you had to gather somebody in your comments about the concert. How do you deal with people like that since they think you're only supposed to go to church, sing about God, and read the Bible all day? I keep living my life. And um, that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm not going to stop, you know, doing me. I'm not going to stop the experiences that I have to have to become who I am. And for me right. to also be um, successful with my assignment and my demographic. I need to be able to go. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not, I will say I'm very selective in the music that I listen to. I'm selective uh -huh. with what I put into my spirit. Um, and when I go to those concerts, for me, that's like a field trip. We used right. to call them trips that we would go on for school. Like, gone to a Coldplay concert and have cried out of worship. So I think it's to each his own. Now, I will say I have grown. And I will uh oh, uh -oh y'all hold on. Can you hear me? Okay. It was kinda cutting out a little bit. Okay, there we go. It's better now. Okay. Can you hear us? here. I think his leg and it's moving slow. Hold on, y'all. Can, can you hear us? Okay, there we go. Yeah, it was lagging a little bit. I think it's because she's moving around like she she's driving and traveling. Let me see. Okay, so we're going to let her come back um, so we can talk to her, but I think it's because she's moving around, which is what's uh, making it take its time. So uh, she'll get back to us in a minute. So we'll let her come back in and join, and we'll finish our questions. Um, it's not really going to be a long interview because she is busy. She's doing to play in her movie. Okay. Here we go. Okay, y'all, we're getting back together now. Do -do. <laughs> I'm trying to read y'all stuff and do everything else. It's like frozen. <laughs> Sorry, Lady J. Hey. It's still frozen, Kiki. Mm -hmm. Everybody else calling her that. I felt special. So we're going to let her, I guess, like, where was she going? Because she's out the car now. So let her get into whatever, whatever building she's going into. And then, hey, from Atlanta. Thank you, uh, Tamara. Okay, the devil is a liar trying to ruin my interview. Uh, but let her get to where she's going. And um, then we'll try to pick it back up. But uh, 
Where's she saying her face off at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> That's Tamara, y'all. She's doing this to me. She's making me do things. <laughs> <laughs> hello everybody from uganda so i'm waiting on her to get back on live and um then we'll go ahead and continue our interview but i was asking her you know would she ever do another reality show with her family and of course she would um she still <laughs> belongs to the same church from haiti hey Wait, hola from Haiti. I'm so confused. That's what they say over there? Okay. Um, hello from Japan. From MD. Where y'all from? I feel so watched. Um, I definitely will let people in my live when I'm done with my interview with Kiara. Hey from the Bahamas. Hey from the UK. Um, Florida. Shout out to Florida. Hey, hey, hey. I want to go to Detroit. I want to feel like I'm like Big Sean. Salisbury, MD. St. Louis. I'm so lame. I was going to say something so lame. I'm not even going to say it. My mama's from Mississippi. She is from Leland. But um, y'all got some questions y'all want me to ask Kiara? I know she don't have a lot of time, so we may actually. All right, Lady J. Um, DMV, North Carolina. Shout out to Houston H Town. Um, hey, Miss Verna. Packy bags, we going. Oh, everybody say hi to my husband. So, hello, husband. Hello. Okay, Kiara's back, y'all. Hold on. Do -do. Babies. Okay, I'm asking. <laughs> okay, I can hear you and see you now. Oh, I spoke too soon. Shut up. Everybody said hi, husband. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Tours and concerts. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> okay. Can you? You ready? Yeah, I can see you. Yes, is it getting better? It's getting a little better. Yes, we are, CJ. Oh, no. I feel like she's, like, out somewhere. We are still having technical difficulties. I will invite you in. Ask her to turn her on the VPN as for okay. Who what's the VPN though? I wanna know. To Uganda with Tasha of course. Uganda. But yeah, it looks like yeah, like it looked like she in New York and she having a hard time. I knew that she was only like available for a little while today. Um and I may we may reschedule it for later. Cause it's probably definitely hard to get some kind of signal or service in New York as they're walking. Hey, you guys, it's dope seeing everybody from all these places just here. Fit Mom Hustle, that that made me hype. Hey, Fit Mom Hustle. Ah, what kind of man she looking for? Ha <laughs> ha! I don't know a Christian man. I know that much. <laughs> he said, "Oh Lord, be some Wi-Fi, please, Jesus, be some Wi-Fi." <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're going to try it again. Hey, Prince. 
outfit mom and you from louisiana yes i'm from monroe we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get this together I'm trying to be a fit mom without all the candy i can see you now can you hear me am i on yeah i can see you and hear you now can you see us okay i hope it keep going right you can see us? It's slow. <laughs> yes, I can hear you. Oh, okay, okay. We can okay. see you good. And I'm a stand right still. There. I'm on another phone. <laughs> okay. I can see you. So it's I... just uh, in like slow motion. Okay, that's yep. how it was for us. So I know you you don't have a lot of time. So tell us about your sister, her. I'm so sorry. Tour. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Okay, I'll keep it right here. Okay. Yeah, we can see you and hear you. Say it again. Yes, uh, I was saying we can see and hear you, but I was going to tell you, tell us about... Yes. <laughs> tell me one more time. I'm so sorry. This is awful. Your sistership mentorship. Um, my sister mentorship is super exciting. So we do this thing and we meet every uh, once a month and it's all year. And it's pretty much when we did the show, the reality show with the Shears, they put us in a house in the hills, like I think in the Hollywood area. And it was mm -hmm. so inspiring. Um, we're blessed to have some great things now, but the house was literally on top of the city. You could see over the city, everything. It was beautiful. And right. I was like, more people need this experience just to inspire them because sometimes we only see what we have been, you know, raised around our neighborhoods. So the mentorship, it literally is me talking to them, giving them tips on things that I, or from what I've learned. So it's life, faith, relationship, um, finances, uh, finding a balance in it all. Right. And then, uh, what else do we talk about? We, j we really just talk about everything. The birds and the bees, family planning. Um, That's a good thing. Just kind of, yeah. And we just kind of talk about, uh, we try to create a community, which we have been very successful. Like, the girls, they hang out now. Um, we go to different events together. So it's almost like if I want to travel and if I don't have a friend that can travel with me, you know, from home, now you can go to the... So I'm literally trying to build, like, a sorority, um, but with a different purpose, if that makes right. sense. Right. And everybody, there is a page. I will post it on my page after this interview so y'all can follow that page and see that page. And so... Please. Catching Key Area. Yes. Like Catching Key Area. Tell me about Catching Key Area. <laughs> uh, so Catching Key Area is my YouTube page. And um, I am, uh, I'm young, but I'm not like boring. I like to have a good right. time. I like to, you know, do my thing, go out and just see the world. Um, and I think for a long time, which we've steered away from because we're a very, um, we call ourselves woke, but we're very aware now, mm -hmm. um, knowledgeable. So we're finding ways to incorporate a balance. And so I just wanted to give people who, unfortunately, a lot of us don't like going to church like we, like our parents used to have us going. Right. And so I wanted to do a YouTube where I'm kicking it and I'm talking about real life situations and not sounding deep or anything, but literally just giving like biblical references so that we can see the Bible makes sense. And actually, yes. it's a lot of myself in the Bible. Um, like David had some of the same struggles that I did or Moses had the same insecurities that I had or Esther, you know, she was like the modern day right. Beyonce. So I'm really trying to, um, if, in case I seem weird, I'm holding the phone where the signal is, but I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's why I wanted to do the YouTube channel. And then I'm starting to incorporate more of my family in there because a lot of people have requested like can I see your mom can I see your dad yeah. can I somebody see your asked brother? me that too in these comments that's like can you tell her to put her mom and her aunts and stuff on there there y'all yes. go she just told y'all so just I make sure y'all watching <laughs> please and I'm working to present like quality so definitely like a lifestyle I try to give faith with my life you know right. so even when we were talking about like the Beyonce and Jay-Z concert uh-huh I went and like I was saying it was a field trip for me but I saw a lot of subliminal Christ field messages and that's right. not me making excuses for them because you know I'm a fan I am a fan of their work and I respect what they do um, mm -hmm. but there were a lot of stories and just um, signs of redemption and re restoration and for them to not be boxed in 
you know, they still mm -hmm. somehow use their platform to give the gospel. And I think, too, as a believer, I'm doing what the Bible tells me to do, and that's to not hold people hostage of their past. So, yes, they may have been saying a right. different story before, but let's see what they're doing now. And um, right. like I said, I've had some of my most inspiring moments. Like, my brother took me to a Stevie Wonder concert for my first time. Uh -huh. I cried my eyes out there, and I wrote some of my best songs. Actually, I think I wrote Free. And that was when I did Indescribable after that concert. Uh -huh. I was inspired from that. And then I went to Coldplay. I was inspired from So I'm living my life, and, and that's just what it is. I ain't going to get crazy because at the end of the day, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm just living my life and trying to show the world with YouTube and catching Kiara thing with the lifestyle approach and the conversational approach. I'm glad you're doing it because a lot of people, I'm telling you, a lot of people, and I have it in my comments all the time, be like, oh, you a Christian, you this, you that, you can only do this, you can only do that. And I'm like, it's not like that. It's not right. a put on a, no, it's, I just, I, I don't, I dislike it a lot. That's what it is. And I hate when yeah. people try to box it good. And it's really because they don't understand. And it's because they don't want to understand sometimes. It's not that they don't, they don't want Absolutely. to understand. Absolutely. And uh, I'm glad that we have you and a lot of other people who are able to explain it for people in our age group and people younger, because I ain't gonna lie, when you go to church sometimes, sometimes you just have to lean on your arm and fall asleep when you're a little younger. And you gotta get picked by your granny to get up. It's just Absolutely. It's like this sometimes. But I'm learning with having children of my own, you have to learn to relate to certain things on a certain level. If you're 28 and I'm 28, and you're telling me about God, I'm gonna relate to you more than I'm gonna relate to my grandma. Because you, you're helping me understand. And I feel like you Absolutely. represent that, and I definitely appreciate Thank that. Because if we didn't need it before, we need it more than ever now. I know that much. For sure. For sure. So, and speaking of that, if you allow me just to say, uh -huh. uh, and I know a lot of us are tired of church. We're tired of, like, church behavior. But I'm, I'm committed to our youth um, and young adult ministry at my church. And mm -hmm. um, we have an amazing team. Shout out to them in case they're watching. They're like, you ain't the only one, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, one thing that I will say is, a lot of us say, you know, oh, I don't want to go to church or I don't need the church, but we still need church because some of us don't have that connection with our biological families. And that's where God uh -huh. sets it up for us to be connected to our village. Like if you think about Moses, I was just telling them this, but if you think about Moses, he wasn't connected to his biological mother. God used her as just simply a portal for him to mm -hmm. meet her, you know, so yep. Maybe you just are supposed to be at a church just to be connected to the right people, you know? Right. So I hope that you – and then the other thing that I told them was um, – I heard you talking to your husband. I'm sure you would be offended if your husband was like, you can talk to me. You don't got to deal with my wife. And oh, if yeah. the church <laughs> – right. If the church is the bride of – yeah. If the church is the bride of Christ um, – am I saying that right? The church is the bride, um, <laughs> uh, then <laughs> – you can't say, I can do God, but I won't do church. No, church right. is still necessary, you know? Right. So I just think it's all in finding the church that fits you, that, that caters to you, and then not letting crazy people run you away from your covering, your leadership, your church home, because it's crazy people on our job. It's crazy people walking the street. Somebody just bumped into me. I wanted to say something, but I ain't going to stop walking the street and go close myself up, you know? Yeah. I'm glad you you touched on it because I've I've had this conversation with my mom every Sunday. Living with your parents as a young as a young person, you're forced to go to church. To be honest, they're gonna make yeah. you get up on Sundays and Wednesdays, and you go to church all day if that need be. Absolutely. But when you get older, if you are not strong in Christ and faith, and you're not strong, you are going to steer away from the church, and you're gonna want to stay at home and be like, oh, I can watch it on the internet. And you know, you need to go to church as well. But I ain't pressuring nobody on it, y'all. Y'all look. Take your time. You know, find what works for you. You don't want to be somewhere and you're not getting a word because you're worried about the people in the church. For sure. So I'm definitely, like I said, I'm glad that we have somebody in our age group who is still able to spread that message. I listen to my granny. I promise you that's who I call for everything. I'm going to skip over my mama and call my granny first. Sure. <laughs> then I'm going to call my mama. Yes. <laughs> but I know you're busy and I know you have to go. Uh, one of my last questions is everybody want to know, do you have any new music and tours coming up? Because everybody in my comments wants you to come to Africa and anywhere else they at. Yes, I was just in Africa a few months ago. Not a few months ago, like two or three months ago. Yeah, a few months ago. And then I was just in London. So I'm making my rounds 
Um, if you go to my website, I am com, I'm literally uh -huh. posting everything there. And I usually post like a whole layout of my cities and where I'll be um, on Instagram as well. And then okay. for new music, yes, I literally have like 20 songs completed. It's just all God's timing. We just signed a licensing right. deal. Um, I'm on my family owned record label, Kuru Records now. And okay. we're, um, we're just working hard. So we're just taking our time because with me being gone from the market for so long, I want to uh -huh. make sure I'm putting out like what's dope, but what is me. And I don't want to, like how you talked about, you know, I'm 28 or I'm in, a, I'm in my 20s, I'm in my 30s now. I need somebody uh -huh. I can relate to. I don't want to keep giving the same stuff just because it is, you know, what we call gospel music. And sometimes right. I don't even want y'all to put that to me because people automatically box you in when you say it's gospel music. Right. Does this make sense? I'm not saying I don't want to be gospel for the messy people. But I'm right. saying I just don't <laughs> like to be boxed in because the Bible right. says we're supposed to be fishers and men. So if I'm talking about this guy that is the creator of all, I should not mm -hmm. be boxed in. I should be able to reach just as many people as the people that I'm inspired by outside of okay. God's music. You know? So it's coming. Well, it's coming to answer your question. Well, I'm definitely here to support. Whenever you're doing something, I'm definitely willing to post it on my page, my website, and support you just so we can keep reaching more people and they can see the good works in you and in everybody because sometimes the, the message be in the comments and people overlook it so yes. anytime you have something new tag us I'm saying us like it's a whole team girl it ain't nobody ever here but me on this page <laughs> I <laughs> run this page by myself you speak it you gonna have to have a whole team that is us <laughs> yes that's us over here anytime but i know you are busy and you have to get back to work so thank you so much for this interview i enjoyed thank it you. you thank you thank you and I'm, I'm very sorry i hope you have me again because i love yes. these conversations but i'm very sorry my mom would have fussed at me my dad would have fussed at me and said you are professional <laughs> so i'm sorry I, this was on the no. schedule and i'm very sorry it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay i enjoyed yes, it well thank okay. you you have a good rest of your day and we'll see you later all right, love you. Bye, everybody. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, you guys. So, y'all could go to Kiara's page. I'm going to post her sister, uh, sister Hership page. I was looking at it, and it's, like, one of the dopest pages on there. And, hey, and it is something that you can all be a part of. That's why I'm going to post the page because um, it's just different things, and you have to go on that page and look at it and see uh if you're in this area and if you can do it and what you have to do to get there because honestly everybody ain't gonna get in to be honest because she's still kiara somebody said kiki do you love me are you riding <laughs> anyhow i enjoyed y'all thank y'all for watching um i will be back on later thank you cameron i'm good um i will be back on later um i have another i have two more interviews coming up this week y'all you see that? Ah, so I'll be back on later or I'll actually post it. Um, what's coming up for Shady Lips. And um, I will see y'all later. This this video will be, I cannot, Greg, don't, don't even try. I can't sing at all. The singer in my household is right there. That is the singer in the household. So I don't thank you, Miss Verna. See y'all later. And uh, y'all can, oh yeah, y'all can also inbox me some more people um, that y'all want me to interview. Um, he can, can <laughs> somebody said, can you sing right now? He don't, first of all, he don't sing, he, they say hit a note. Uh, no, I can't, he don't sing Christian music, he sings secular, let me touch, oh, Ms. Vernon said gospel gang, secular, let me touch your body music. <laughs> he don't sing no Christian music, but I'm gonna tell y'all this, later on tonight, or whenever he get back in the studio, which is going to be sometime this week, I am going to steal some of his music because it's so good, y'all. It is so freaking good, and he don't want to give me none. But none of the music, first of all. And so... Oh, it's not yet. <laughs> 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 they said just hit one note. Huh? He said they said hit one note. Uh, I'm uh, <laughs> Come sit over here if I come sit next to you. Girl, I'm playing. Let me go walk. Let me go over here, y'all. Cause he was like, he looked like.
Hitting up for the folks. What's his info? Uh, the Kyrie is. He is also a music producer, graduated from Full Sail with a master's and a bachelor's. So it, he does everything. No, he he. <laughs> Go on showcase your talent. Six five people they waiting on you. Sixty five, only sixty five. That's all. Get your your behind. <laughs> But uh, somebody asked me for information. It's T H E. Wait, let me just put it down here at the bottom. But um, yeah, he do everything. So let me go and put that out there. I don't know how to pin it. Oh, uh, uh, I pinned it at the bottom. That's his page. Sing some. Girl, why are you doing this? Give this me is some. not on the agenda. Bob Brother, give me some. Jesus is real. I know the. <laughs> Come on. Y'all, this wig is hot. My children are coming out. They've been in the room this whole time. Don't worry about why she dressed like this or why her hair like this. Dad, hi, party. Why is she showing out a lot? Okay, she never talk. talks so clear ever. I don't know what y'all did, but my baby never talks she never talks that clear, ever. Thank you. That's his twin. He really playing this game, y'all. Oh, that's my other one. I got four, by the way. I can hold it to her mouth. And, and don't worry about her hair either. We in the process of, you know, say hey. Hi. How you doing? Good. No, not you. Say how you doing. Say how they doing. How you doing? What's your name? Chloe. How old are you? What grade you in? Pre-K. Oh, okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, it's a PS4. <laughs> it's four of them, y'all. So when I don't be on Instagram, 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 that's why I be doing mom stuff. You're not going to say anything? Call me. Don't be calling me that on live. You just got your daughter name. Can, you, can, can we play some music in the room so they can? Yeah, I'm gonna go learn how to work it, and I'm gonna put it on Instagram for y'all. Watch, put it in trash. No. <laughs> Yay, mom stuff. Oh no. <laughs> well, if you if you do want like your music mastered, some producing, some beats, some vocals, he do it all. Some public relations. What's your degree, sir? You just said. Say it. Say it. Repeat it for me. I got a master's and no, oh, she's. I don't like how I look right now. No, it's annoying. Don't you say my baby annoying no more. Come on, I got, I got a master's in public Mom, relations and a, a music Hush. production degree. In what? I mean, a, what? it's a bachelor's in music production. Mommy, I'm hungry. Yeah, I gotta go. I, I got. Mommy, he I is not on YouTube yet. That, I'm I fine. How are you? Like you okay, y'all. Yeah, I'm about to get off because I'll be reposting these interviews on my YouTube and they're going to be like, what? Yeah, Somebody said congrats. Okay, yeah. Your degree. Oh. Thank, you. Thank you very much. We don't have no more. Just, you know, you love music with a passion. Do you do music? Like, we got a whole studio. Y'all want to see? Yeah. I'm going to go show y'all in house studio. Okay, hold on. Let me see. What? It's also my beer on too, first of all. Let me see. So, start in house studio. Do, 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 do. I don't know what our closet looking like right now. Hold on. Maybe a little messy in here. And then, a little mic or whatever. A little in house studio. All right, so I'm gonna go. I gotta take out dinner and stuff, and do other mom stuff. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and post Kiara's page because I'll be telling you I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do it, then I forget and I'll never really post it. So, ouch, my elbow. I'm going, thank you. I'm going to do that and I will see y'all later. All right, bye y'all.